Well, today I'm high on a mountain in Clidach in the Swansea Valley because over there looms a pretty strange bungalow, once home to a British genius dubbed Dr. Death Ray. And it's in that bungalow he carried out all sorts of mysterious, secretive and strange experiments. So let's go find out more about his unique story. Well, standing here on the top of Manny the Guire, you really do get a sense of just how remote this place actually is. And it's right here, back in the 1940s, that arguably one of the greatest inventors of all time lived and worked up there in complete seclusion. He was born in 1880 in Gloucester, and even though he's not a household name to many, he's widely recognized as the man who invented the mobile phone. That's why if you're walking along the Clidach Canal, you'll find a series of metal sculptures, one of which honors the achievements that were once made by a largely forgotten scientist. Now, it's people here in the village of Craig, Kevin Park, who first coined his famous nickname, Dr. Death Ray. That's because villagers here would often see strange goings on with lights beaming into the night sky from the mountainside above. But the inventor's real name, well, that was Harry Grindel Matthews. Now, walking up this steep, epic landscape, it's easy to see why Matthews thought this location would be perfect to escape the prying eyes of the press and government. Tor Cloud was built in 1934, and it soon cast a veil of mystery over the villagers, where speculation soon ran rampant regarding the activities concealed within its confines, shielded by a towering electric fence and menacing barbed wire. It even had its own private landing strip or runway in its garden, where Matthews could come and go and stay relatively unnoticed. Now, there's also a story that suggests when the then Prime Minister Winston Churchill came to Swansea to see the blitz damage, that he was escorted in person to Torclough to meet Matthews and find out if any of those bizarre inventions could help shorten the war effort. And apparently, both were then seen in the nearby Mason's Arms. So, who is he? Well, using newly disclosed files once marked secret held at the National Archives in London, newly discovered documents and personal recollections have given us an insight into his life. Now, Matthews invented the world's first mobile phone, and he even demonstrated his invention to King George V. But sadly, even though he invented the incredible device we all use today, well, we simply weren't ready for it, and the company he set up to sell it was a complete flop. He also believed he'd created a lethal death ray, boasting it could stop engines from a distance, bring down aircraft, ignite explosives, and render infantry helpless from a distance of four miles. As you'd imagine, the war office wanted a demonstration, but they swiftly rubbished his invention as a non-starter. But despite the verdict, a high court injunction was issued by the government, stopping Matthews taking that invention anywhere else. Now, despite being awarded £25,000 from the British government, there are people who thought Matthews was a complete fake. But might the German military have had other ideas? According to one local Craig Kevin Parker resident, Hubert Jones, there's an interesting story of his family finding a German silk parachute on a nearby remote family farm, hidden away in a hedgerow. It was taken to the village policeman, laid out on the road for all to see, and the conclusion at the time, well, it had to be a German spy. Strangely, even years later, a top-secret document given to Margaret Thatcher still talked about the UK conducting studies into the former inventor's death ray. Fast forward the clock, and just this year, with growing military tensions, the Royal Navy unveiled its latest weapon. Yes, a deadly death ray. Now, another invention included a synchronized moving image with words, and in 1926, he flew out to the US to work with Warner Brothers and help develop talking pictures. 
He also created a sky projector, and it's believed it might just have inspired the bat signal in the Hollywood movie as it bears a striking resemblance to that used by the mayor of Gotham City in Batman. Now, he also went on to invent a device capable of detecting underwater submarines, which some claim today was the beginning of sonar. And his other inventions included the early autopilot for aeroplanes, an aerial defense system, and even automatic street lamps that came on at dusk. Now, the inventor's death remains somewhat mysterious to the current day. It's believed he suffered a heart attack and passed away on the 11th of September 1941 at the age of 61. But despite his ashes being scattered on the mountain, some say his death remains curious, adding yet another layer of intrigue to this already enigmatic legacy. So, who knew one of the UK's, if not the world's greatest inventors and an amazing visionary of the 20th century did it all right here in Swansea?